Hey guys, this is Pete with Moscow. And I'm Ash, and we're headed to Africa. We are about to fly out to Sierra Leone and Liberia for a month. And we're gonna make a movie about using the Reckless 80 on a fly-in trip. That's one of the great things about the Reckless 80 is that it fits on pretty much any bike. So we don't have to know what kind of bikes we're gonna be riding to know it's gonna fit. We arrived in Monrovia, Liberia's main city, and immediately started looking for a couple of bikes to buy. Yeah, wow, we're here. 48 million hours later, we're finally in Monrovia, Liberia. We've been in Liberia for two days now, which is enough time to find, purchase, and register two of these Thunder 125 bikes. This is a bike that's actually made by a company called Leafon, which is one of the major Chinese factories, and they're sold here in Liberia under the brand name Thunder. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how quick and easy it is to set up a Reckless 80 on this bike. Connecting the Reckless 80 to our new jungle bikes was easy. The bags were set up in under a minute. One of the things I love about moving into the Reckless 80 is that there's a spot for everything. We brought Oxpox and Molly bags and we used it all. All right, we're ready to go. On a small bike trip, we're stopping a lot, we're getting in and out of our bags many times during the day for clothes, snacks, drinks, and tools, so it's nice to have lots of easily accessible stash spots. The Reckless 80 is a very livable system. Just like a backpacking pack on a long through hike, you sort of move into the bag over the course of a long trip. Everything has a home, and you know exactly where to look for what you need. On a trip like this, a bag's gotta be tough. The roads we're riding are rough, rutted, washboarded, and rocky. We each had a few get-offs, nothing serious, but it's hard on the luggage because that's the first thing that hits the ground. Having a seam blow out, a torn strap, or a torn bag on a trip like this would be a real hassle. But that didn't happen to us. Our bags held up great. The Reckless 80 has a tough sewn seam harness on the outside and an equally tough welded seam waterproof bag on the inside, so it can handle lots of abuse. You wouldn't ever really want to go on a trip like this without waterproof bags. The trip is long enough and the distances are far enough that you never know what's going to happen with the weather. On this trip, as it turned out, the weather was pretty good, and we only had a few days of rain. A couple times we loaded our bikes on boats to get across rivers or lakes, and our dry bags kept our gear dry from splashing over the sides and bilge water in the bottom. We also crossed a lot of small rivers and streams as we worked our way north on dirt roads, especially in northern Sierra Leone. It was nice to know our gear would be clean and dry when we stopped for the night. Liberia has a long track record of positive relations with the United States. It was founded by freed American slaves. The first 10 presidents were American. Their flag is based on the American flag. Their constitution is based on the American constitution. The main city, Monrovia, is named after U.S. President James Monroe. English is widely spoken, and the U.S. dollar is accepted everywhere. Welcome to Bong. <laughs> on the other hand, a lot of what we knew about Liberia and Sierra Leone came from the news. And most of the news is about the horrible civil wars, which ended 20 years ago, blood diamonds, child soldiers, and a wave of Ebola that swept through the area in 2014. All that's history now, though. What we found instead were beautiful empty beaches, nice scenery, friendly people, and lots of very, very curious kids. Everywhere we went, even far off the beaten track, we felt totally safe and secure. Most towns have a military checkpoint, and the officials were friendly and welcoming. The weapon to sell you. Thank you. Jawara. Jawara. Nice to meet you. We camped in small villages, met chiefs, tried local foods, and drank tea in the roadside stalls. If you want to learn more about the trip, we have an advrider.com ride report titled Flying to Liberia Today. Would we go back and do it again? Absolutely. One day we will. <laughs>